Lydia Parikh, welcome to Life is Organized TV, the place to live a simple and happy life. And today, I want to talk about bedroom shame. I truly believe your bedroom should be your oasis. No matter how limited your space or storage, your bedroom should be the place where you love to go to bed and a place where you love waking up. So make sure it's used for peaceful and fun things in your life like getting a good relaxing night's sleep or getting dressed and feeling beautiful in the morning or simply relaxing. So here's a simple three-step process to keep your bedroom feeling like the oasis it's meant to be. Step number one, you need to clear the stuff that doesn't belong here. Oh, you know what I mean. Really? Seriously? For reals? Oh, I have no words for you. Oh, that's just disgusting. So just grab an empty laundry basket and go at it. Fill it up with everything that does not belong in your bedroom and get it all out. So you're left with just the things that do belong here, like clothes, shoes, jewelry, and maybe a few relaxing books. Step number two. Get your like things together. Store them as much as you can in the same area, like all your t-shirts in one drawer, or your shoes across the bottom of your closet, and books or magazines that you're reading by your bedside. Having similar items together helps for so many reasons. First of all, you really get to know how much stuff you have. For instance, 40 pairs of shoes scattered under your bed and in your closet and corners of your room may not seem like 40 pairs of shoes until you have them together in one place. That's how you really come face to face with how much you have, which will help you make some important decisions about what to keep and what to eliminate. It also helps you save tons of time when you're getting ready or looking for an item because you only have to search through one area to find what you need. And lastly, step number three, make it pretty. Add a vase or photos of your family and pretty curtains, candles, nice bedding, throw pillows, any way that you can make this room feel pleasurable, comfortable, and relaxing. Remember, you're creating an oasis, somewhere you really enjoy being. I mean, really, take two minutes to think about what soothes you, from physical items to colors on your wall to the touch and feel of things, and be sure to infuse that into your room. So on that note, what's one thing that you could do to transform your bedroom into an oasis? Or does it already feel like that and why? What have you done to it? Please share your great ideas and inspiration in that cute little comment box below. And by the way, that was this week's challenge. All right, my sweet friend, I'll see you again next week with another awesome tip on how to live simple and happy. Thanks so much for your time and support. Bye. Oh, that's just disgusting.